what up? That's Nam Hispan and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. Hey, your girl Mel. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back, SM Squad. Back with another video. All right. How are you doing today? I'm doing absolutely great. All Wonderful. Right. I know yourself. that's right. How you doing? I am right? absolutely amazing. That's good. That's good energy right Blessed there. Blessed and highly favored. Yes, yes, yes. We hope you guys are absolutely amazing today. All day long. All right. All right. So, babe, what we got today? Okay, today we will be viewing. Michaela Montgomery accuses Kamala Harris of harming black uh -oh. community, defends Trump's NABJ comments. Say what? All right. <laughs> so. Uh-oh. This is my first time hearing Attention. Michaela Montgomery speak. All right, let's so, see what you got, Michaela. All right. I'm ready to hear what she has to say. So, guys, before we get into it, smash that like button, turn on all notifications. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. All right. All right. Let's Good go. Good energy. Good content, right? Bam! I love it. A little bit of energy for you guys. guys. Good energy. Get it. Today. Catch it. Let's see. The school bus driver. Woo! In a traffic jam. I'm so happy you all came out to see me. So... <laughs> My name is Michaela Montgomery. A lot of you guys know me as the girl from Chick-fil-A, but I am so much more than that. Okay. <laughs> Not only do I serve as the CEO of Conserve the Culture, I am also the state director for Blexit down here in Georgia. I'm a Fulton County coordinator for America First Works, and I'm also launching okay. a podcast on the Patriots Prayer Network. So put some respect on my name. Okay. Nice. Okay, girl. Speak up. All right, Put Michaela. Some my name. <laughs> now, why don't we jump right into it? See, as a young single mother, I can tell y'all that rent is too damn high. I. All right, now. I can tell you that as a young black voter, groceries are too damn high. Yes. Hold on, can we stop it right there for a minute? She yes. hasn't said one lie yet. Okay. <laughs> we just went to Walmart. We all know day. that. Our car was not full and it was like $300. I know, right? It wasn't even half full. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, this okay. This economy has been pretty right. rough on us all. We, all right, now. We all can agree to drop these that. prices. Here we go. Most definitely. <laughs> and as an American citizen, period. Seniors like my parents should never have to choose between medicine or food. It should never be the quality wow. of life versus the quantity of life. And I don't want to hear, oh, but we capped the price of insulin and lowered the price of all these medicines. Yeah, but you raised the price of everything else. So it's about time to start telling the truth to Americans and let them know exactly what they're signing up for. And Whoa, they want to for Kamala Harris. Uh-oh. We need to vote based on facts and not feelings. See, under Harris and Biden, the average Georgia household is losing $1,060 per month, and inflation is at 21.4%. And due Whoa. to the war on energy, average gas prices have reached record highs for the state. We also did a poll, and 80% of us black Americans are not happy with the current state of the economy, so I'm going to need 80% of y'all to vote accordingly in November. Yeah. Uh-oh. They love me. They love me. They really love me. The left wants you to get in your feelings about things that have been said, but I want you guys to pay attention to what has been done. They don't want to talk policy. They just want to use propaganda to steal your vote. The left is trying to tout this woman as a savior for the black community, but all she's done is hurt the black community since she came into the game. All right. Let's see what you got to say. See, the first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from her record as a prosecutor, why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? Willie Brown? Wow. The, um, oh. I wonder if Mrs. Willie Brown, a black woman, is also with her. Whoa! A few days ago, President Trump said he didn't know Vice President Harris was a black woman. I'm trying to figure out what all the outrage is about because she's only black when it's time to get elected. Did I lie? <laughs> the same black people. 
people who are mad at Trump for being confused about her race, ethnicity, nationality, whatever, are seemingly forgetting that while you're touting her as a savior for black people, she identifies as an Asian woman. She chose her side and it wasn't ours. How? When asked if she would ever do anything specifically for black people, she said no. Whereas Trump gave us the platinum plan, <laughs> which specifically uplifted the black community by increasing capital by almost $500 billion, creating 500,000 new black businesses, and would give black churches the ability to fight for federal resources like for their that. communities. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I love that. 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 Strong borders aren't a thing literally everywhere else in the world. Since when has being patriotic been a crime? See, a few weeks ago at the debate, Trump mentioned black jobs. And a lot of people got in an uproar as if they didn't know what he meant. Well, we go to the polls and cast our black vote. We go to the stores and spend our black dollar. We live in our black community, but for whatever reason, we draw the line at a black job. Mm. Oh, but wait, because if you're wondering what a black job is, please, I encourage you all to drive through Atlanta at all these beautiful black-owned businesses and check and see who works there. Probably a black person working for a black entrepreneur, recycling the black dollar, creating black generational wealth. All right, now. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> taking your jobs and your resources then please believe my cousins in the Appalachians they coming for you too Woo. whoa Melly and y'all know Kamala Harris has yet to say Lake and Riley's name as borders are she opened the border to millions of illegal immigrants that have flooded American streets with deadly drugs and gangs wow. that have spiked overdoses by over 124% and bought Woo. more crime into commu uh, excuse me, minority communities so how's that for black folks but let's take race out of it. Wow. Just as a woman, period. How can you be a champion for women's rights when you're taking away opportunities from biological women and giving them to transgendered ones? Woo! Did she just blow us away with that one? I mean... Can we take that back for one second? Because... The way she's slamming, you know, Kamala Harris is just... I think she's... She's hitting every point. She's speaking facts. You know, I feel in my heart, in my <laughs> mind. I mean, the board is wide open. <laughs> that she is telling the truth. I, I mean, mean everything that she's to. saying, we have had to struggle these past four years. Man, struggle. Struggle at the market. Struggle the gas pump. Bills. Str everything Walmart. has gone up. Inflation <laughs> Same <club>. is horrible. <laughs> I mean, we can barely survive. Yes. And. And we drive a gas guzzler. So what gas is, is the plan for hot. the black community? I mean, if Trump has a plan for the black community, why I mean, would black they people said Trump not was creating all these jobs for you know black communities? Yeah, I remember that when that was happening. Yeah, and he, he had specifically to do it on has a plan for the black community. Yeah, I mean, he had the whole COVID. Uh, so it's like, and wow. like she said, take color and race, take it all out. Yeah, let's of take it. that out. As women, yeah, we have rights as women. We, as women, you know, we bear the children. Yep. Yeah, you right. know. Here we go, guys. A transgender woman. A transgender. I don't be know. The same right I mean, as it's a woman. no disrespect to these people. <laughs> you know, I I love everyone, but I'm a woman. Right. Don't take away my rights. Yes. For someone who only thinks in their mind and says yeah. they feel like a woman. It's not that I feel like a woman. It's that I know that I'm a woman biologically. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to share a restroom with a... I do not. Okay. I, and okay. I have. Okay. And okay. I was scared. Wow. Because... And it's nothing to bring I'm not trying to bring down the transgender community. Yes. You know, I have respect and love for them, you know, but what about the community of women, naturally born women, real women? What about us? It should be a separation. What if a man is just a pervert and wants to put on a dress and right. you know, and he lies and says that he's transgender, we're not protected. That's not it's right. nothing That's against not the transgender community, but in you know, in in reality, 
people are perverted and someone, a man who wants to attack a woman can put on a dress and pretend to Easily. be a transgender. You know, Easily. we have to protect women. It's not saying that we don't like the transgender community and that we don't respect them. You know, but they are who they are and we are who we are. And it really comes down to the law. We should respect them as transgenders. We have and respect to. us women as women. It's a must. We you know, are who we are. We cannot be oblivious to that. You know, yeah. so um, right is right and wrong is wrong. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Grace out of it. Just as a woman, period. How can you be a champion for women's rights when you're taking away opportunities from biological women and giving them to transgendered ones? <laughs> I'll wait, y'all, because wow. I wasn't done. See, how can you promote equity for women and you're allowing men to play in women's sports? No way. No way. And what kind of feminist would still allow men to enter their sacred spaces, i.e. our bathrooms and school locker rooms? Come on now. No. Uh -uh. Do I even need to mention the opening ceremony at the Olympics? Woo! What happened? I'm, so I'm disrespectful. That Angela Carini was forced to fight a man and told us that she's never been punched so hard in her life. Wow! Do not allow dangerous liberals who think things like this are okay into the world. Not world. okay. My daughter will not be fighting a man at her wrestling match. No way. What, what no the way. way. I'm a no way. They allow this? No way. And what I think both men and women can agree on is that national security is important. So who would y'all rather see lead us into war if it were so to happen? My silk press sister Kamala or the big dog Donald Trump? <laughs> she got a point! And lastly, I cannot get up here without mentioning my farmers, the backbone of this country. And aside from the Biden-Harris administration hurting you guys in ways we can't even comprehend by the rising cry, uh, cost of everything, black farmers suffered even more due to the delays associated with the Inflation Reduction Act signed in 2022. Mm. Now don't let the Biden-Harris administration fool you because they waited until the ninth hour to, dis uh, to sign off on disbursements as a last minute attempt to garner support. But why would they hurt the agricultural industry? Probably because they're looking forward to making more money in the pharmaceutical one. Mm. And speaking uh -oh. of pharmaceuticals, because I promise I'm going to wrap this up. When they bring up abortion and they talk about protecting your medical freedoms, don't be afraid to mention COVID. The Biden-Harris administration forced Americans to take an experimental vaccine and took away their jobs, their livelihoods, yes, and their freedoms if they refused. Yep. I remember yes, that. they did. Trump gave us a choice and Biden gave us a mandate. Wow. Hey, y'all, because I'm about to kill him with this one. Come on, girl. So the next time the left wants to tell you that, hey, abortion is a right and you need to protect your medical freedoms. Remember that they took those freedoms away from men and women the second they got in office and there's nothing stopping them from doing it again. They did. All right now. Clock it. <laughs> so lastly, again, I'm gonna encourage you all to vote based on the facts and not feelings. Oh, he made me feel so bad when he said that. Okay, but they hurt your families when they sent all your tax Most dollars definitely. overseas. Oh, it hurts my feelings when he acts like that. Yeah. Okay, but it hurts all of us when you see an administration failing their country that they were elected to represent. In which case, I'm going to leave y'all with, hey, mama, daddy, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. And my baby girl, Amaya, is somewhere in here. So we can all say, hey, Amaya, in unison, because she's the real superstar, y'all. All right. Hey, Amaya. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all get riled up and ready for Big T himself. Thank you guys for having me. I look forward to seeing you all. All right. 
Oh, right. That's what I'm talking about. Um, <gasps> wow, she was so did animated. She just body slam, Mala. Oh yes. my goodness. All right, baby. She just went in. She she went in. She went in. She most definitely went in. <coughs> she, she it was like she was saying, speaking nothing but facts. That's what I like. Like, I like why, the family points. Why would we want to have trans transgender? Yes. People who say that they feel mm. like women. But biologically, biology says that they punch harder, mm. they kick harder, mm. they could beat the They're crap stronger. out of us. It's a man. A man and a woman is two different things. No matter how you feel inside. No matter how big we are as women. That shouldn't mean that you can go into my daughter's you locker room. You can still beat the crap out of me. I'm <laughs> because scared that's the way of you. you. Feel. Like, I'm sorry. I mean, she was hitting some valid points. You know, I love everyone. I, I do. It. I'm not trying to bash the community of LGBT. I mean, Q. anyone can be whoever they want to be. Most definitely. It's just that what you cannot do yes, around other people. It's and, and, our rights as yeah. women and men. Yes. Yes. They should have their own. Yes. Just like we can't, I can't get in a boxing ring with you. Exactly. You know. We're something different. We're, we're two different people. And, when you know, and I, I don't, I don't want no one to take offense to this, but when you're out in a public place and you have to use the restroom, the first thing you do is look for the sign. Okay, it's going to say men's, women. I think they need to build a transgender. Or they have the little sign or the little lady wearing they a dress. They need you can to see the build sign. a transgender bathroom so that transgender. Yep. So they can feel comfortable. Yeah. Yep. Because it's not fair. We we use sanitary napkins. We use, yeah. you know, it. We have I mean, babies that we have to change. No man should think enter about that it. bathroom. Think about when we're in the bathroom and we have to take our babies. We have to change our babies. Absolutely. Like, you know, it's. It's not right. It's not right. Please. It's, it's not, not right. right. And transgenders should feel that way. They yeah, should I mean, have enough respect. The same respect they want us to have for them. Yep. They should have that for us. But it seems like they, they truly don't. They yeah. really don't care about women's rights. See, in different countries, it wouldn't even gotten this far. It wouldn't even have gotten this far. Yes. To even have this conversation. Yes. I think they should have rights. You know? I, I think don't, transgenders... I don't want that person. I am for transgenders having rights. Give I mean, them rights. They should have their own rights then. Give them their community. They have their own give rights. them their rights. I love and accept but every human being. Want, God made us all. He created us. I don't want us. my mother, we're different. my wife, or my daughters to share yes. anything yes. um, with transgenders. Most definitely. I respect them all day because whatever you want to do, hey, I respect it. Yeah. You know, but at the end of the day, right is right. This isn't is about hate. It's not even about that. It's not even about you know, judging anyone. But, you know, when you go in the bathroom and take care of your business, you want to feel like it's all women. Yeah. That God created. Most you definitely. Know. So, yes. but she definitely has some valid points. Yeah. Um, You know, the border is wide open. You know, the prices are sky high. And wherever you go at, you know, um, yes. the prices are high. Taxes are high. Everything is just high. We need help, America. We need help. We need someone to run this country the right way, and we are running out of time. Inflation November is out of control. Is, yes, it's right around the corner. Next and month. And like she said, don't think about how it makes facts over feelings. Mm. You know. Yeah. Don't don't continue the lies because you want to be spoon fed yeah. and you want to be gently lied to and you don't want to hear the real i mean yes. some of the things that i've heard president donald trump say have been a little you know out of control i agree yeah, some of the things he says is like well wait think. a minute but 
Now, but when Trump was president, what the, he what he does it is was some things for the betterment of us all. It was everybody was it's, it was better. It seemed like times were were better. Yeah, but it seemed like he had the COVID on top of that, so it made it his job that much more harder. Yeah, you know, so yeah. he could have you know probably done more. Yeah, but COVID was right there, and it was like the whole world was just you know going through it. But um. I just want someone to run the country and just treat yes. the Americans fair. Um, people, these houses shouldn't be this high to move into. Your rent shouldn't yes. be that high. I think that people gas, electric bills, and stuff shouldn't be that high. People are, <laughs> you know, they don't like Trump because of what he says and how he says it sometimes. But take away that. Look at the facts. Look at what he's trying to do. Look at how he's trying to change America for the better. Because we have been going in the wrong direction for a long time. Yeah, I mean... And we all can see it. I've, I watched someone pump $2 worth of gas. Yep. Like, it was very sad to me. Yep. I was like, wow. Fact. $2 worth of gas. Can People can't two afford... Two on pump two. I said, wow. It's like, wow. And how are they supposed to afford these, uh, these cars that are ran by... What is it? Electric? electric yeah. yeah, how can... How you know, are, like, if people can't afford gas, how, how is someone going to be able to afford electric cars? Wow. It's just crazy. And then, um, again, she said that she would rather go with the big dog, going, in, going into a room to talk about, you know, these things all over the world, mm-hmm. opposed to having Kamala going into the room with these leaders, so-called leaders and whatever. I would rather go with the big dog. I want, I want, to, I want, you know, powerful somebody to go in there with their chest, you know, poked out. I get it. Like, yes, I understand Americans. black people. I'm a black woman. I understand. Can't have soft, gentle voice. But black people, we <laughs> cannot, we cannot be fooled by someone playing the race card this year. Yeah. We have to be better than that. We have to that be smarter than like, that. Okay. We have to look out for the community. Right. What's right? What is right? What's right? We cannot go off of this is a win for black people. Oh, a black president. I think that's what a lot of black people are going to go with. Yeah. And I understand that. You may have felt like, you know, we've always been done wrong. But this time, don't go with your feelings. Yes. Go with the facts. My grandma always said. Yes. The facts. You know, she always told us about, you know, don't believe what someone says. Believe what they do. Like, yeah. actions speak louder than words. Do research. Don't believe the words. Believe the actions of believe, who you are yep. voting for. Yes. Okay? Absolutely. So, with that being said. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, straight up and down. Yes. Um, We need to get our country just together. Yes. We need Most to get this definitely. stuff together. Because I'm going to tell you what, everyone in this country should be good before we send one single dollar to help another country. Most definitely. I don't I think agree. we should see homeless people on the streets. I don't think um, the elders should be struggling and trying to pay their medicine and, and put food on the table. Most definitely. That does not make Most sense. Most definitely. You know, and then we send millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars, Yes. you know, to help out. Most Which is definitely. okay. If we are okay. We're not okay. We're screaming out, hey, the bills are too high. Gas yep. is too high. Um, too you know. High. <laughs> yes. It's not working out. We can't out even us. buy a house for our family. I mean, it's too high. We wanna buy we wanna become home. You got a down payment and a closing cost. It's like, whoa, yeah. the closing cost is pretty high. But um yes. guys. <laughs> I mean it's sad. Like it gotta be an easier way for the Americans, right? It gotta yes, be an easier it way. It be. must be an easier way. Most and um, whoever's running it right now is not making it no easier for us. Yeah. I can honestly say that. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not easy right now. It's not. It's not. But um, we thank everyone for tuning in and watching, you know, showing us some love. We appreciate it. Yeah. We thank you guys. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your Bam! post notification bell. Turn we appreciate you guys watching. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Yes. That's our time. All right, guys. Until next time. God bless. Have an amazing day. Peace. Peace. Nice.